Hello and welcome to the channel, my name is Ivan. In today's video we are going to work on something that I'm very excited about. We're going to work with that glorious sound from heaven, which is the drums. So if you haven't, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get right to the logo. The drums is a sound that I really, really like. I love doing it, I love mixing drums, I love everything that is related to it. In this case, we're in a lockdown, and if we were to be in a better scenario, what I would do is I would call the drummer of our band. It would be great if we could go to recording studio and record some drums, and then take them back here to the studio for mixing. I also have a uh, electronic drum, which is also a good alternative. If you have a home studio, it doesn't make any noise, and you can get pretty nice sounds out of it. In this case, what I'm going to do in order to get the song finished is I'm going to program drums. Now, this would also be a good step if we were doing a pre-production. We could program drums and then go to the studio and have a real drummer to record drums. That's something that I also would like to do. But in this case, for our purpose, let's just head over to Pro Tools and I'll show you guys what is my approach and what is my method for programming drums. Okay, so let's start where we left off our last time, and it is with our draft song session. So this is going to be the um, the guide that we will be using in all of our recording process. If you guys haven't watched it, uh, the previous video of this series on how to record a rock song, the first video of our series was basically how to put together this session, which is a, I would call it a, a prep session for what we're going to do. So here it is a little bit of the uh, draft song that we wrote during our How to Make a Rock Song series. So here it is. Te busqué, sin rumbo, sin dirección, sin saber dónde ir, me entregué al placer, sin control. Y sin satisfacción, pero tú me guiaste a la verdad. Absoluta me llevaste a la vida. Okay, so this is pretty rough, but it will give us an idea of what we are aiming for, at least from a song structure in general, song idea perspective. So let's start with the drums. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with an instrument track here. Uh, because we are going to use a sampled drum and I'm going to choose uh, a virtual instrument. This time we are going to work with the SSD. Uh, this instrument doesn't have to be the final one. I really like it. Uh, I They have like awesome presets, but for now it's just something i need something to to program drums later on i will decide if i want to stick with with this or i i was also thinking about actually sampling uh one of our actual real life uh, drums that we have we recently purchased a new uh snare drum and i i would like to sample it and see how it sounds and how it fits with the with the overall mix and it is also make it you know is, is going to be is part of our sound uh, of our live sound so it would be great if we also use that that drum sample here but for now let's just figure out which which kit we are going to use let's hear this is pretty pretty good presets here pretty good uh samples we have from um ssd4 I know there's a newer version, but it can be whatever virtual drums I think would fit our purpose here. And all of them, I think, that have reached a level in which, you know, you can get awesome sounds from pretty much any any virtual drums today. So um, I'm just trying to figure out which one I like the most, uh, at least while I program drums. For now, I'm going to stick with this one, and what I do is I program my drums here in this same channel. I'm just going to start the MIDI editor, and what you will find here is that each one of these keys represents the sound of a different sample. Uh, 
and I'm just going to start hearing the song, our backing track in programming drums. So I was just thinking about the idea of how drums are going to sound in this part. So it is going to be something like like this. That's how the drums are going to start. We have that first vocal part, and then the drums begin. So here we start with the snare. And let's try with a with a, a kick here for now just to figure out the timing something like this and then we go with um kick drum here that is Pretty much marking a, a fourth uh, time here. This is something that I already have a, a rough idea in my mind. So I'm just trying to lay it down here in, uh, while I program these drums. But the idea is to start and to get a basic drum and then we will be able to refine it. It could be, you know, now as much as I can or as we go we do this process, the whole recording of each instrument. Maybe I may decide to make some changes here and there. As you know, guys, I like to keep my process flexible. But for now, let's see how this sounds. No, that's too much. Uh -uh. I want something like this. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Nope. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually thinking about like uh, something like that. Here I would like to have a crash. Something like that. Where are the crashes? It's something like that something that i will find down here also is the velocity which is sort of like the strength of the impact to the drums and i also like to play around with this because depending on the velocity uh, particularly for the drums and snare the sound may vary and you may get a you know much nicer sound for example if you turn uh almost all the way or all the way up the volume the, the, the intensity the velocity or the volume of the sample so just to keep in mind so you guys play around with it so what i'm going to do is i will continue playing around with this programming the drums what i envision the drums should be at least the basic beats and i will fast forward and i will see you guys in a minute and i will show you the progress so far <laughs> Okay, so I have been able to do a little more. I have advanced a little bit programming drums. So let's just get straight to it and hear a little bit of it. Okay, so uh, that would be it. Pretty much I've made the, the drums, I've programmed the drums for the intro and the verse. I added a little uh, 
nice sound here that I like, a cowbell sound. It is right here. You guys can listen to it. And I liked it. I don't know if I want to keep it for the intro or the verses. That's something that I am yet to define um, because I was imagining this sound for the verse. But right now it is only in the intro, so I'm yet to define it to see what, where it works best. There are some sections in which I would maybe like to add some drum rolls or some, you know, just little arrangements to the overall percussion. But yeah, that would be it. I wanted to give you a, a quick glimpse of how it is looking. So, so far we have the music for the intro and the verses. The upcoming section is the pre-chorus and the chorus. I already have the music for the section that connects the chorus with the second verse. I'm going to duplicate this for the second verse as well. And then once I'm finished, or even later on in the process, I will make some other adjustments to this drums. This is the progress so far. I will continue working on the pre-chorus and the other sections, and I will just fast forward for you guys. And so you see the, the end result uh, next. So see you in a little bit. All right, so finally we have finished the drums for this song, as you can see here on the screen. So let's dive in and take a look at the MIDI editor and I will show you guys the detail of the song. The first section that we have here is the intro and the drums for the verse, which I showed you already. Now what I have here is the pre-chorus and the drums for the chorus, so let's take a listen to that. Alright, one cool thing here is that we can already tell and we can already have an idea of where the song is heading. We can already see more clearly how the song is sounding and it sounds a lot more like a song already pretty much. So after the first chorus, this next section here is going to be the connection between the chorus and the verse and here we have the same percussion that we used for the intro. Something nice about this section is that cowbell. I think it really makes this section sound special. It is different. And when you experiment, sometimes you find something in a detail like this can become like the little star of your whole song, can become that catchy thing that is going to make it special. Right now, I don't know yet if I'm going to keep it only for the intro or leave it uh, for the verse, but it's pretty cool. Maybe if, you know, if it is just a quick glimpse of that uh, special sound that's the best way for the song uh, we will have to test it out and the good thing about programmed drums is that you can actually test it and see how it sounds in different ways and this process resembles a lot what actually goes on during a pre-production process a lot of producers in their workflow, they do this before going into the recording studio and they get every single detail in pre-production so that the drummer, when they come into the studio, they already know what to do. Uh, this is sometimes done, you know, in conjunction between the band and the producer. But as you can see, it is very useful during the pre-production process, which is what we are resembling here. We are basically exploring and defining what works, what not. We are determining if we like a particular sound, if we would like to repeat a particular section or use, you know, the cowbell, uh, whether it is going to be in the intro or the verse. That is what's cool about the, the pre-production process and virtual drums are used a lot during this process for that reason. For someone who's not an engineer or a musician, they may not be able to tell the difference between a virtual and a real drum. I also believe that some other instruments such as, you know, percussions in general terms 
keys and um, and the bass, for example, are instruments, some strings are instruments that can sound very realistic when using virtual instruments. Not quite there yet for guitar sounds, for example, in my opinion, I think they still sound um, artificial. Uh, same thing for, for winds, I still think, you know, trumpets and stuff like that, they still sound a little artificial. And I'm sure that with time, maybe in a few years, uh, we musicians or engineers or producers won't also be able to tell the difference because of how technology uh, advances. But, you know, there's nothing like going into a recording studio and being able to have a drummer basically imprinting that human side of the art, the emotion, uh, the feeling, uh, the groove, even the little imperfections that, and, you know, that's what makes this art so beautiful and also you know the experience of being in the recording studio and learning recording techniques and trying different things working with other people and hearing different opinions and having you know different people collaborating so that the process in the end and the final result is even better but for now let's stick with the programmed drums we are now in the second verse this is the music of the pre-curse, which is similar to the previous one. And then we go into two rounds of chorus. And as we saw in the previous videos, after the chorus, we have a guitar solo. In, and these are the drums for it. Something that I try to do here is, as you could hear, I try to uh, create some drums that adhere to the melody and the rhythm of the guitar solo. And later on in the process, if I decide to change the solo, if I, ha if I have a different idea, I could come back to the program drums and change it as well so that it adheres to the new, um, to the new guitar part. This is, again, an advantage of our process with programmed drums and hopefully something that happens during a you know a pre-production process then after the guitar solo we jump into the bridge and the intention for me usually in the bridge is to take the listener to a new place musically not way off the overall feel of the song so what i decided here is to have a, a section with a slower rhythm probably focus a little bit more on the vocals and it sounds a little bit more intimate so let's take a look at the drums here Pero ya es hora de empezar a descubrir cuál será la mejor alternativa Okay, and lyrics are not ready yet. I know these are lyrics in Spanish, but um, basically I'm not saying anything here. It's just random words, but I wanted to record it because I do dig the melody for the bridge, and I don't want to lose that idea. I will write lyrics later on in the process for the bridge using that melody, hopefully, which is what I like up to this point. Now, leaving the bridge is a pre-chorus here, and then we head into the outro of the song, which is a couple of rounds of chorus music. So here it is. Pero tú me guiaste a la verdad, absoluta me llevaste a la vida real. La vida que siempre busqué. All right, so we have a couple rounds of chorus here, which and the song basically this would be uh, a final chorus would be the outro and it sounds something like this all right so this would be it for the uh, programmed drums of our song i think we're ready to go we have a pretty good foundation uh to record the next instruments i hope this is useful for you and you guys probably use it in your own projects let me know in the comments below what did you like about my process and what would you do different as well i'm sure that we can all share our knowledge and, and learn from each other 
I would also like to know what you think, what you guys think about virtual instruments in general terms. If you agree with me that at least up to this point, I think um, maybe drums, keys, and uh, some strings are well sampled, while we are still not quite there yet for guitars and winds in general terms. What do you guys think? Should I look at some virtual instrument that uh, could blow my mind with that regard? Let me know in the comments below. That's interesting for me to know and to have a conversation with you guys about it. But for now, this is it. This is my process. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it is useful and you can get something out of it. Okay, so that would be my method, the method that I use to program drums. I hope this was useful for you. I hope you find value on this video. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this video, if it was useful for you. If you've been following me so far on this journey, on this process, let me know. If you're writing a song, I would love to hear it. Just send me a comment. Also, if you haven't, this video is part of a series of videos that I'm doing about how to write a rock song and I'm just showing you guys my songwriting approach so we have a series of videos that you can uh, check out here on this link and this is the second video of a series that I'm doing about how to record a rock song which is basically a continuation of making a rock song so this is the second video of this recording series if you haven't checked the previous video click also here on this link and it will take you there okay what we're going to do on our next video now that we have finalized the drums is we're going to start the recording process of the bass that's also going to be very exciting so stay tuned to the channel if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notifications button to be aware every time there is new content on the channel and that would be it for today so see you guys on the next episode bye